Hello, I'm Jay Barino, and welcome back. We're on to Chapter 7 of Azeroth Reborn. We're on to the shores of Northrend this time. We're chasing down Malganus. This mission is one of those that can take really long or it can go really fast, at least in the original. Uh, I can't really speak to these maps anymore just because the, the balance changes are... are... I don't know, impactful in different ways, I guess is the only way I could say. It's not like good or bad, but it just changes the outcomes of the maps in different ways. Um, like March of the Scourge was harder. The Calling was harder. I don't know if that ever will impact how long a mission takes. Just because, again, it works to our advantage in many ways as well. One month later along the icy coast said blah, 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 blah. This is a life for second land, isn't it? You can barely even see the sun. This howling wind cuts to the bone and you're not even shaking. My lord, are you all right? Captain, are all my forces accounted for? <clears throat> Nearly. There were only a few ships that... Very well. Our first priority is to set up a base camp with proper defenses. There's no telling what's waiting for us out there in the shadows. Are these different models because they have snow on them? Because that's pretty cool. The crates have snow on them? Alright, can you stop whatever you're doing? Of course. Oh, that, he actually did. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Alright, here's what we're going to do. You generally can, like, kill wolves and, you know, do all sorts of stuff before you get to the actual, um, base. Um, I'm, I'm probably just going to try and bomb rush to the base. The sooner we can get started, the better. Man, Captain Falric, look how fast he attacks. My goodness. Or is this one Marwyn? I don't know, man. Um, we can backtrack and kill these creeps later once we have Muradin. We just have to get to the base. So, yeah, we can leave those. Also, because we only have one free slot. I think that slot's going to be for an Orb of Frost later. And then depending on the kind of stuff that we find, like, Arthas is going to keep the medallion, and he's going to keep the talisman. But he doesn't need the ring of protection Justice. or the circlet. Like, that's replaceable if we find really good stuff. And we might not. Certainly. Okay, we have of trolls course. there again. We can just a avoid those and the hit those later once we get Muradin. Danger? Or on ice trolls. What? Sure, whatever you say, buddy. You don't even know him. You've been here for like one second. You're like, oh, it's not ice trolls. They might be the friendliest trolls ever, but we're killing them now. So it's not like they really have a choice, do they? Yes, no dispel. To Let's see Certainly. if we can get up to plus three this time. I really don't want to draw that entire troll group if possible. Of course. Let's do something like this. Oh, and we made the healing one back off. That's nice. Doing this is giving us money, though. So, like, killing all this stuff would let us get off the ground a little faster. It's just, you know, we the, the sooner we can start macroing, the better time I think we're going to have. So let's just get up here. A sound plan. Ah, a gold mine. We'll set up our base there. We're under attack. Take cover. Bloody hell. You're not undead. You're all alive. Muradin? Muradin Bronzebeard, is that you? Damn, boy. I never imagined that you'd be the one to come to our rescue. Rescue? Muradin, I, I didn't even know you were here. Oh. Just the same, lad. I, I could use your help. My mates and I are attacked. I said, I'd appreciate any backup. Of course I'll help Muradin. Let's move. Okay, cool. So let's get that saturated and get these Just folks hotkeyed. Does Muradin start with any items? No. Okay, now we backtrack and we kill this stuff. We can start putting stuff on Muradin. Flying machine good versus gargoyles. Gargoyles good against flying machines. So, you know, it's a uh, little this, little that. Get rid of those and then just keep a bunch more dudes for lumber. Ready to work. I'm here to help. Is there danger? A sound plan. Just and the uh, Orb of Frost drops from the Nerubians that are over, over here, I think. Build more Again, this is handy because we're just going to get some additional... Yes, me lord. Some additional gold from killing the creeps. Obviously handy. And we're gonna need to get back to base in a, you know, a reasonable amount of time. Even the chests have snow on them. Interesting. 
Pot of Man is really good on Murad. I mean, Pot of Man is good on all strength heroes, but uh, let's come up here and just see if we can snag that. That's them, and they're still under attack. Let's move, men. Those dwarves need help. All right, that's fine. That's going well. Um, I need a blacksmith so that I can make more riflemen because we do have air attacks that come in here pretty soon. How's this going up here? It's fine. Certainly, of course. Okay, Arthas has this orb of frost. There are more creeps. We can backtrack and get those later. I just don't want to get caught by an enemy attack here momentarily. So let's uh, let's back up. Actually, I have a lot of gold probably from killing those creeps. Off I go, then. And I'd really like to get a town, uh, get a, a castle as soon as possible. The sooner that we can get up here to attack, I don't know how long these guys will be okay. As long as they repair their towers, they'll probably be fine, but, you know, I don't know, so. What's the okay, repair that, then repair that, then get on lumber. Yeah, lumber's our, Job's done. our stopper yes, right now. Job's done. Uh, I'm gonna get a workshop, actually. Off I go, then. Right and yeah, lumber is the issue right now. I mean, I can afford a lot more workers, so let's get more workers. What is it? All right. What? Okay, when you're done with that, actually, what is it? Yes, you're fine. Ready to work. And then you make a lumber mill down here. Off I go, then. All right. And then repair these buildings, then... You know, get to work on lumber. I would love to just start getting some upgrades here. It really feels like my lumber income is so slow. I don't know if it's just be uh, an issue with the, you know, the game is... The, it's a faster game speed, so it just sort of feels... I'm, I'm not so sure. I don't know. You know what? Cancel that. Let's go ahead and get plus one. Attack. Mortar teams are a lot of lumber. I could have probably come down here and killed this other stuff. That's okay. I got the Orb of Frost, which I think is the only valuable item. I'm sort of waiting for the first enemy attack, and then I can go up and kill the uh, the Yetis as well. That's. I mean, we could do also do all of that later. We can do all of that at a time when this base is free and they're not in danger. Um, okay, they're repairing and they rebuild their units. So it, I don't know how long if there's like an actual time limit now. I think previously it, it doesn't matter. Yes, we lord. Like, they can last for literally ever. Um, that may be different here. Okay, and it certainly couldn't hurt to get another guard tower. Actually, we need Dispel. Dispel has been crucial. The enemy starts... They start using high-tier spells right at the beginning at a lot of these missions, so we gotta make sure that we are ready for it. Oh, work. Yes, Getting flare would be nice. Mortar teams, yeah. Eh. We're fine. We don't need any of that. Let's just wait. More lumber is required. Yeah, it's just lumber. I mean, I could build more footmen. It's like I got to use my gold on something. I could just keep getting more workers on lumber too. Again, it's just because the game speed is faster. I feel like I can. I should be able to be moving a bit faster, but that's actually not the case. I'm still constrained pretty significantly by resources, which is fine. I should be. I am ready. Of course. I'm Um, I sort of feel like I should have. I'm here to help. Never mind. They're here. Okay, good. Uh, and he just casually has death and decay in the first attack. But why? Okay, go ahead. I, I should have storm bolted him. What is your Back these dudes out. Heal Muradin. And I guess use your pots. Kind of a strange first attack, but you know. I like purposefully went out of my way to like not bust my way straight into creeping and stuff because I'm like oh surely that first attack will come pretty soon and that but no <laughs> I mean it, the first attack did come pretty soon but it was like double 
That's fine. I guess let's back up and kill some of these creeps, because in theory they shouldn't come again for a while. Um, well, actually, I don't know about that. I can't speak to that. Long rifles? Yes, my lord. Yeah, admittedly, that felt kind of strange. I'm not sure if that was how that was supposed to go, or if we were supposed to get attacked earlier, or... I, I don't know. It's fine. How are these guys doing? They seem fine. I'm here to help. Job done. Scroll of the Beast would have been, you know, I wish I actually would have had that for that attack. That would have been great. And then I think there was some wolves down here that I missed, and then we got to get back to base as soon as possible. Is someone in his mic? Um, and then castle takes a long time to get, so let's get started. And then lots of riflemen. Research complete. Okay, I must I must have killed all the wolves. Maybe there were some up there. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're all good. We got that scroll of the beast for the attack. We're getting back to base with some time to spare. Hop back on lumber, buddy. Can we get the better lumber? No, not yet. I will get better better masonry. It just feels like we're plowing through these trees for a lower return. Is that just me? Like it just it feels like the tree field doesn't last as long. Is this a is this another stealth balance change? I wonder. Okay, this is good. I think these flyers um I bet the other the other group of enemies are going to be coming. As well, but because these are faster, they ended up getting to us a little faster. What is it? Is my thought? Yes, my lord. What? Off I go then. All right, what get that castle. Money? Yeah, priests are just it's absolutely my critical. My no steam. Oh, you know, we probably get the steam tanks when we go up here. Siege engines or whatever they're called in this version of the game. Upgrades. Upgrade complete. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, where are there more trees? Is at this rate, we're going to need to find some more trees. I'm going to wait for the next enemy ground attack, and then we're going to probably move... Well, you know what? I don't know where the enemy ground attack's going to come from. We can come up here and kill the yetis. Or wendigo. I'm loving the buildings with the snow. Justice shall be done. Of course. For honor. Of course, for honor. There he is. What the? Those creatures are even bigger than ogres. Slay them quickly. The strength. Okay, and I'm then he comes know. back. A sound Captain Falric's still alive, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we blast him again. I don't remember what this thing drops, but we'll toss it on Muradin. Let's get moving. Let's get it on. Gauntlets. Um. Yeah, Stormbolt. Just research complete. Of okay, come on back to base. Grab some mortar teams. Four mortar teams should be more than enough. And then we want master training and we want to turn off the autocast inner fire. Inner fire is just something you want to turn on right at the start of an engagement and then turn it off right away. Right as soon as most of your units are buffed. Because otherwise, you're going to be burned through your mana super quick. Yeah, there's just a few things that feel different. Like, again, the trees. It feels like we burn through the trees incredibly fast. It feels like our... Priests run out of mana particularly fast, even at mastery training. Okay, stun him out of that. And then dispel all of that. And then dispel all of that. And as we, you know, we can resurrect at the end of all this. It seems like they're out of mana, so they're not going to be able to get... Yeah, I don't think it's going to get better than a five resurrect at this rate, so let's just bring them all back. Keep in mind, our mortar team's gonna be incredibly good um, because of AoE, so I think we should lean into them. Animal war training's so expensive. It's so expensive! Okay, it's no problem. We're good, we're good. Um, do we have enough to bust through this enemy base? 
Honestly, who dares wins? Our priests are like all out of mana though. So turn off inner fire and then let's give it a shot. They did just attack us, so we should take advantage of this. If you miss the storm bolts on that lich hero, your army's like toasted. That feels very Starcrafty. Okay, okay. Good, go for this, and then the crypts. Job's done. Bring this guy up here. The sooner we get this base, the better, because then we can, uh... Then we get that second gold mine. Animal War Training. And then, yeah, get plus three attack, and then we can worry about ar uh, armor in a bit. We arguably didn't even need this much stuff to break through this, but it, this is this is good. This is good. Let's just destroy those, and as soon as we rescue this base, we gotta get back to our base to make sure that we don't get wiped. Yeah, good job. That's good stuff. Okay, let's send the majority of these folks back home. Well, animal war trading finished at least. There we go. Our town is under siege. What am I supposed to even do with this amount of extra peasants? <laughs> what? Our forces are under attack. Okay, you get on gold. Are we here? I don't know what's going on here, man. It is a bit hard. I, I don't know what units are mine. Unfortunately, I don't ever resurrect. Where do you want it? Uh, ultimately, though, it doesn't matter, does it? Um, we got our siege engines. We're at 68 out of stuff. Let's start getting knights. And as long as we have... I mean, the most important thing is we have siege weaponry to burn through the enemy base. Cool. Okay, let's just take our whole army and we're going to just sort of camp up in this direction because that's where they are coming from. We're going to wait for upgrades. And... I'll get some sorceresses, sure. We don't need that many of them, but we'll get some. Get another siege engine. I, I mean, mortar teams arguably are better. And then we're going to need a lot of... Riflemen. That's mortar teams. Riflemen to kill gargoyles because there are a lot of gargoyles. Is there danger? I stand for the light. We have a lot of. We actually already have a lot of riflemen. We need priests. Okay to go. And we have a couple flying machines too. Okay, upgrades, upgrades. I think again, it's maybe because the game speed is a little deceptive, or uh, not deceptive. That's the wrong word. That makes it seem like it's like purposely trying to trick me. It's more that the game speed is. Forces are under attack. Sort of tricking my brain. Yeah, I, saw him, I saw him channeling that. It's sort of tricking my brain into um, thinking that I, I can sort of move faster. There we go. Okay, no more gold. Yeah, sure. I guess repair. The flows of magic are whimsical today. Yeah, look at this. Like, we've mined out all these trees. Let's get to fight. That has to be where Malganus is hiding. I want that base leveled. Well, I guess we're going. There and there. Honk. I like the honk. Okay, and we're we're maxed actually. Just F two and let's go. Good work. There's nothing to resurrect. There's nothing to resurrect. Okay, good, good, good. That's going down. Yeah, siege engines. Let's just have you attack the town hall for now. 
That's distracting his shots as well. Very handy. Yes, yeah, let's go for the Black Citadel first and foremost. I didn't bring any workers to heal this. Yeah, there's no corpses to resurrect. I honestly just think mass mortar teams would be the way to go here. Okay, back out for a second. Everybody move up. nuke this guy down real fast with the double the double damage ability. I was going to say the double Qs, but that's not what they are. It's the first to be double, you know, straight up damage dealing first abilities on the hot bar. Okay, there and there, and there. Three, three knights feel good. Are you supposed to have three, three knights on uh, culling? Not just knights, but three, three in general. I think so. I guess maybe they thought that... Uh, maybe I'm wrong, first and foremost, but if I'm right, maybe they thought, like, oh, it's you should... You know, it's too early to get 3-3. Three, three. You're, you're not really at 2-2 two, two for very long, so you should get 2-2 two, two for an extra mission. Then you go up to 3-3. Three, three. I told you this was a fast map. All right, Muradin. What were you doing up here, anyway? Well, lad, there's an ancient way gate that lies somewhere in this glacial wasteland. Supposedly, it transports you to a hidden vault with a rune blade named Frostmourne as the elf. We came here to recover Frostmourne. But the closer we came to finding the way gate, the more undead we encountered. Prince Arthas, we haven't found any trace of Malganus. No matter. He can't hide from me forever. Captain, I want you to establish this site as our primary base. Yes, my lord. I was victorious. You'll love to see it. That mission felt very similar to the original. The attack waves are obviously bigger, but, um... Yeah, the... Was there a purple wave or the green wave? I don't know. The first wave, normally the, the, the ground attacks and then the gargoyle attacks are, are separate. At least the first one is, and in this, in this case, they came together. Again, maybe this is just like a triggering issue where it, it could be together or separate in the original version, and I typically, I'm only remembering one certain way it happens. Again, anytime I'm comparing to the original, there's a, you know, there's always a chance I might just be wrong or misremembering, or like I had a specific experience, but it, it actually isn't consistent, and it could be different, in, you know, in whatever, what other way. The only thing that I know is consistently different here in terms of attack waves is they are bigger, and I would say some pretty key elements are enemy heroes and enemy casters have high-level spells right at the beginning right at the beginning. So, like, that first Death and Decay, I sort of panicked, and then I was like, oh, wait, I have Stormbolt now. I haven't used it at all. Um, and then from that point on, we just didn't let him cast it for more than a second. But that's the kind of stuff you're going to look out for. When the game speed is a bit faster, that can completely wreck you uh, very, very quickly. All right, Dissension next time. Excited to see if there are any interesting changes on that one. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.